Hello and welcome back to the West Garfield Park Youth Council <clears throat> television show where we believe we are the solution to violence in our community. We have another impactful show for you this all for you all this evening, so we want you all to sit back, relax, have your thinky caps on, and your listening ears open because we have another in-depth topic that we want to bring to you all uh, this evening with one of my many uh, mentors, the one and only uh, Reverend Walter Jones. He's, Thank you, David. Uh, I had the pleasure of joining us this evening with this um, very intense topic that we're going to uh, get into this evening. Uh, good evening, everyone. My name is David Elam, and I'm the President Emeritus of the West Garfield Park Youth Council, which is sponsored by Fathers Who Care. Fathers Who Care is a not-for-profit organization on the west side of Chicago within the West Garfield Park community. <clears throat> Again, my name is David Elam, and I'm the President Emeritus of the West Garfield Park Youth Council. The West Garfield Park Youth Council is comprised of 15 youth whose main focus in the community is to be nonviolent youth citizens and to educate, enlighten, and empower the many young people across the board and in the city of Chicago. Our show could be viewed every Thursday at 7 o'clock p.m. Again, that's every Thursday at 7 o'clock p.m. Our show can also be viewed online at www.cantv.org slash live. Again, that's www.cantv.org slash live. Well, uh, Reverend Jones, I want to thank you once again for taking time out of your busy schedule to be a guest this evening on tonight's show. Um, the topic this evening that me and Reverend Jones will be discussing will be that we're going to be discussing the top trending drugs in Chicago. So we're going to discuss the different types of drugs that's in the neighborhood, the trending ones, the ones yeah. that are, you know, popular in the neighborhoods, mm -hmm. the one the kids seem to, you know, draw to the most. Uh, we're going to go over some effects of them. What are they? What they do to you? And how we can stop this plight of this massive drug usage in our communities and amongst our young people. Okay. And I have a few questions for you, if you don't mind. Not a problem, David. Thanks again for uh, the opportunity to be with you tonight. And I want to thank all the youth council members who are out there. Thank you mm -hmm. all. Vernicia, Hanisha, uh, Mari, mm -hmm. uh, Michelle, and all of those, and Omari, and thank you all for all uh -huh. that you do. And thank you, David, for the, for the stick to that you've mm -hmm. been doing with this uh, Telecast with the young people. I think y'all doing a yeoman's job. Stay the course. Mm -hmm. Keep doing what you all doing. Y'all doing a wonderful job. And I thank you. Um, first question. Uh, could you share with our viewer audience, in your opinion, what do you think with all the emerging drugs in the neighborhood? And there's so many right. that we want to get into. We want to touch on a, okay. uh, a couple of them. But uh, first, share with our viewer audience exactly what do you think is the most dangerous drug and or substance in the city of Chicago? Well, currently, I, I, I strongly believe alcohol mm -hmm. uh, is one of the most deadliest chemicals or substances on the west side uh -huh. in the city of Chicago mm -hmm. and it's legal mm -hmm. and folks take advantage of it and do some of the craziest things. Right. Then I think opioids, mm. you know, morphine, uh, uh, vacadine, uh, mm -hmm. uh, codeine, all of that. And, and then I would love to go out there and say lean. Okay. All right. Of course, you know, lean is cough uh -huh. syrup. And then you have uh, Hennessy. Yeah. Uh, Jolly Ranchers yep. in it, uh -huh. and, and you know whatever little mixtures they put in uh -huh. it, and, and and then I like to jump out there and, and say loud, mm -hmm. you know you know the loud which is marijuana mm -hmm. that folks are rolling up now, mm -hmm. and now these knuckleheads are not only rolling up or smoking the loud, right. but they're smoking K2 and spice, mm -hmm. which they're dying. Mm -hmm. And then I'll venture out a little bit more and talk about a synthetic heroin out that's mm -hmm. called crocodile. Mm -hmm. Where folks are shooting this synthetic drug and their mm -hmm. skin actually deteriorates into like a hardened skin looking like a crocodile skin. Mm -hmm. And these cats are dying. And I've seen some young folks out here literally lose their mind off of some of this K2 uh -huh. and spice. So those are just some mm -hmm. of the things that have been pressing on, on my mind. Mm -hmm. How about you? Well, to me, um, the most... To me, in my opinion, the most dangerous drug uh, in the city of Chicago, and particularly on the west side, since that's where I'm from, and that's uh, where I reside uh, right now. 
to me the most dangerous drug now is these these pills the mollies the mollies yeah the lego they have they have different they have different terminologies they have different street meanings that they call them because I see it every day, you know, on social media and in the communities and in the neighborhoods that next to marijuana, this is one of the most popular and I want to say turn up drugs because today people feel like this drug, they need to uh, consume this substance mm -hmm. in order to be lit. Lit. Yeah. Turn up. Turn up. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay. And... So, so if they don't take the mollies or they don't take these pills that you're referring to, mm -hmm. they don't feel like they're getting lit. Is no. that what you're saying? No. And so, like, so, 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 marijuana don't. I'm saying, uh, marijuana now don't get them lit no more. Yeah, yeah, it does, it does. But and alcohol don't get them lit no more. Yeah, but some, some people, you know, some people, um, they, they may consume it all in one setting. Okay, got because it. Because they want that maximum feeling of. Wanting to be turned up. So what does, if you don't mind me, okay? Because you know I like learning. Mm -hmm. So just saying, it's popular. Yes, it's very. So popular. you're talking about Molly's. Mm -hmm. And they have different names for them. So they give have, me some of the names that uh, they have. Molly's, um, Zans, which is short for Xanax. Right. Uh, Percocets. Okay. Um, and ecstasy. And ecstasy. And they come in all different shape. With they call it all different shapes and sizes with little and they all have little logos on so, them. So 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 they may be they, they do they do, do I think I saw something before look like skit skit what's they call those candy the candies the kids. Skittles. Skittles, uh -huh. right? And then I saw some like Legos. Mm -hmm, with the little and, logos on them. Yeah. Right, okay, uh -huh. okay. So that's what you're talking about. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay, all right. So yeah. so what are we saying to the parents to be mindful or to be Well what are we saying? Yeah. Um one thing that we wanna address um to the parents, um particularly in the city of Chicago, is you want to know what's in your neighborhood, first of all. Right. You want to know what your child could become in contact with. Right. Because on every street corner in Chicago, I'm not going to say on every, but in most common areas, um, on every, um, most street corners, you hear it every day, and it and it's very very irritating because you hear it all the time. Loud, loud. I got this. I got that. Can I? Can Salt I? Buck, you know. Yeah, I want to go there. I yeah, okay. Can I go there? Yeah, go ahead. Go okay. there. Okay. I, go ahead. I, I, every, occasionally, I'll be riding down different streets. Uh huh. Uh huh. And now, anyone that look at me know that I'm not stopping for nothing. Right. But. But they don't know that. Yeah, they don't know it, obviously. Right. Uh, but. But I be hearing them saying Trey Five and Dubs mm -hmm. and. and so what are they talking about? Yeah, they're talking about marijuana. What are they, they talking about? So well, what is a tray five? A tray five is a large amount of marijuana that you can purchase, uh, I believe, for thirty dollars. Thirty dollars. So yeah. So so tray five means thirty dollars. Mm -hmm. Or does it mean tray thirty five five thirty five? A tray five is short for three five. For like thirty five dollars. No. 3.5, meaning 3.5. 3.5 grams of marijuana. Oh! Yeah, so tray okay. 5 is short for 3.5. Okay. So they just, you so know. So that's 3.5 grams of marijuana yeah. that they're selling for $30. Yeah, I don't know the exact price, but I believe that's. So what's a dub? 20. So they're selling tr what? That's a $20 bag of marijuana. For t Is that a 3.5? No. So it's a 2.0? No. What is it then? It's just a dub. And what's a dub? It's. That's the price of the marijuana. Yeah, but how much marijuana is it? Up? I'm not sure. How many joints can they roll out of it? Or in this case, how many loud sticks can they ride? They they roll up. Uh. Because they don't do joints no more. They do what? The, the swishers. The, the Swiss. Yeah. The Swiss sweets. They, yeah. they cut the cigar down, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So now back in the day, they used to use the the, the, the rolling papers. The tops. Yeah, the tops. They don't use Some tops. Some people still do that. Some people, if they hard up, you know, you can't get your hands. If on they it. hard up. If you can't get the swisher, you just need to hide. You know so, so so you so so it ain't hip no more to do for them to use tops. Now, if you hip for real, mm -hmm. you got to do it with the Swiss sweets or one of those cranberry papers or something, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Go ahead. I'm, I'm with yeah, you, man. Yeah, but my thing is, my thing is this. I don't understand. I want you to uh, help me out with this. Um, you want me to help you out? No. Yeah, you, you're the educator. You know? Right. Gotcha. So, um, what do you think about this? Um, 
you know, because some kids, it's some youth that do it who are underage, correct? And some of them can't purchase these items. Okay. And they have, they may, you know, it may be people hanging outside the, you know, liquor the, stores and stuff like that. Liquor stores yeah. at a dough spots and they can't, right. you know, get them and they, oh, you know, I. Could you go in there and get it for me? You know, you ain't you ain't legal to get shoulder it. Shoulder tapping. And, yeah, and they get it for them. What do, what do you think about that? Well, that, we call that shoulder tapping. Shoulder tapping. Yeah. I never heard of that. Yeah, you just told me to educate you. Mm, yeah. So that's what it's called, shoulder tapping. Mm -hmm. When someone younger comes up to someone that's hanging around a certain facility, mm -hmm. and they say, listen, can, get the shoulder. Yeah. Shoulder. Mm -hmm. Can you go in there and buy me this, or can you go in there and buy me that? Right. And you say, okay, look, come on over here. What you want? What you right. want? Right. Uh -huh. How much is it? Yeah. So you give them the money and they go in there and get the stuff, all right? Mm -hmm. So that's what we call shoulder tapping. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Well, I just learned. Mm -hmm. I just learned something. Well, ladies and gentlemen, if you're just tuning in, my name is David Elam and I'm the President Emeritus of the West Garford Park Youth Council. And my guest this evening is none other than uh, Reverend Walter Jones. And we're discussing a topic on, we're uh, discussing the most trending drugs. Uh, in the city of Chicago, and I have a question that I want to pose to the viewing uh, audience. Right. For you to call in with your comments or questions to the following question: How can we, as community leaders or people in the community, how can we come together to decrease the plight of drug usage in our community? Please call in with your questions or comments to the following uh, question once again: How can we come together to stop or decrease? the massive use of drugs and different substances in our communities. Give us a call, 312-738-1060. Again, that number is 312-738-1060. So the phone lines are open, huh? The phone lines are now. Yes. Okay. So I, I, I like to respond to that question. Okay. I, I think one way would, would be to educate people or to educate young folks mm -hmm. on the effects. Right. Of various different drugs, particularly right. the effects of the loud, mm -hmm. the effects of mollies, mm -hmm. the, the effects of uh, uh, opioids, mm -hmm. the effects of alcohol, mm -hmm. the effects of K2. If, mo if, if a lot of these young folks actually were able to witness the, the harsh realities mm -hmm. of some of these, these drugs, right. then they wouldn't be so apt to want to would want to mess with them so fast, mm -hmm. you know, but because I don't think they actually see the harsh realities of some of it, mm -hmm. and then what they most folks be doing when they do any of it is they be trying to escape, mm -hmm. right? So I, it's my hope that the young people would not allow these substances to consume them, but they will stay focused and continue to do the good work that these young people are doing, going to college, maximizing their options, staying drug free, mm -hmm. uh, staying without children, you know, trying not to be parents too soon, mm -hmm. but doing, staying focused and understanding that you got a course, you have a journey that you're on, stay the course, do what you need to do, and when you get older and you can make better decisions and you got your, your life in some perspective, mm -hmm. then go out there and get married. All right. But go ahead, David, I'm with you. Uh, another question. Um, what are some resources that possibly provide treatment for people who may become somewhat addicted to these substances? Let's get your call in, then we'll come okay. back to your question, all right? Okay. Uh, caller, thank you so much for calling. You're on with Reverend Jones. Your comment or question, please. Hi, how you guys doing? This is uh, DeAndre. Hey, DeAndre, how you doing, man? How you doing, man? Good, good to hear from you guys. And good to see you guys. I'm enjoying the show so far. Hey, good and to hear from you, DeAndre. Same here. Good to see you as well, Reverend John. How you doing? Man, we still doing it. We still on the field doing his will and trying to make a deal. Oh, man, that sounds good. Like, I hear you, man. <laughs> <laughs> hey, get in touch with us, DeAndre. You got a question for tonight? Yes, sir. Sir, uh, my question is, uh, you guys are talking about violence. Uh, Within the young people in the community, uh, what about the churches that the community uh, that decided to take the place? What can the churches do to uh, 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 out of the church? What can the preachers do? The pastors? Okay, well, I, I, I'm glad you asked that question, and, and I guess you're talking for yourself because you're already doing it. So I guess we just need to continue to do more of it. I, I think any any lay person or any any minister or clerical or, or clergy 
that's really true to the call of doing the work that he's supposed to do for the least of us should be about it and not just talk about it. I think we should be out there in the highways and byways bringing folks together. That don't necessarily mean that he has to be the only one out there doing it or be out there personally. Of course he had to have a team or have to have some people out there. And so what we would be doing in that, ev in, in that endeavor is educating people, empowering people, letting people know that they're not alone, letting folks know that there are some refuse or self haven a safe haven that they can come to and seek out some assistance. Also make sure that our churches are open and that our church churches are welcoming to the people off the street and not just to the certain members of the congregation, mm -hmm. but that we have a church that's open, that's feeding the people, that's right. clothing the people, that's empowering the people, mm -hmm. that's providing intervention and support to the people. And I think for the most part, uh, uh, the church that, of course, that you're part of, uh, DeAndre, uh, uh, is doing just that as uh, we are doing just that. So I continue to think that those churches who claim or who say that they, they are uh, 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 servants of the Most High and or agents for social change need to do just what they say they do and go out there and bring social change and empowerment to the people on the west side of Chicago, in the city of Chicago in general. Mm. Next caller. Hello, caller. Thank you so much for calling. Your comment or question, please. Yes, good evening. This is Miss Griffin again. Hello, you know, Miss Griffin. There is so much promotion done on the subject matter that you all are talking about, and it's done in a negative way. You know, people who get prescription drugs, they showing our bowels on the television. You know, stop this promotion. This is what's happening. It is being promoted by the news media, by the TV program. Where are the family values? You don't see them talking about people going to church. You show some good things because, like you say, our young people are the best and the brightest there is. Make no mistake about it, people. Mm -hmm. Love each other. Start looking in the mirror. Speak to these young people because we need each other. And the West Side... I am so proud of you all. I brag about you everywhere I go, and I don't say it reluctantly. I'm excited about it when I see you, and then you got the Reverend Jones on there. Oh, I love you. I love, I love you, you too. Love thank you. you so much. And thank you so much for accepting my call. Thank and, you. Bye now. Anytime, Miss Griffin. And see, that's what I mean right now. Mm -hmm. uh, you don't know whose life that you're impacting. Mm -hmm but you are impacting people's lives and don't think people are not watching because somebody always watching and as 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 a uh, uh, sister uh, mother griffin just said that we should as the churches we should be actively out here doing what we can do to empower the least of us we should not just be talking about it we should be about it we should be trying to make a difference and if you really care about your family uh -huh. then you should empower somebody else's family because you just you don't know is your it, it, it could be your turn next right and you may yep. need the help mm -hmm. so I encourage you to help someone while you can before you need help yourself mm -hmm. so it really don't take that much sometimes it just take a warm word a kind word some referral some direction and that's why I do what I do with these young folks because I actually I love y'all and, and then nothing else I got to pour into your spirit and I got to make sure that you can't say you don't know right so if you do something contrary to what's right, you did that by choice. Mm -hmm. it, ain't, it ain't like you didn't know. You didn't make no mistake. Mm -hmm. You chose that. Mm -hmm. So that's why the young folks that I'm dealing with are always, are always those that stay consistent, mm -hmm. are headstrong, are driven, are out there making a difference. They're working. They're going to school. They're staying focused. They got goals. They want to go to college. They want to be this. They want to be this. And so these are the young folks that, that we're working with here, uh, particularly uh, on the west side, to make sure that they have options and that they can be the best that they can be and that they stay drug free. Well, ladies and gentlemen, once again, if you're just tuning in, my name is David Elam, and I'm the President Emeritus of the West Garfield Park Youth Council. And my guest, once again, this evening is Reverend Jones. We're discussing the topic on the most trending drugs um, in Chicago. And we hit a couple of um, a couple of them. Uh, we want to hit a couple more. Um, there's can I can I interject a thought for you, do that? Mm -hmm. Because I don't want to forget this. Okay. Thank you all. Thank all of you who participated in the Thanksgiving dinner. Mm -hmm. uh, it was a huge success over at George Leland School, mm -hmm. STEM school. The community came out. We fed the community. We we fed anyone that came in. The families came in. It was a beautiful sight. We had folks came in from Samsung. We had folks came in uh, from uh, on another endeavor we did with the disposable bags mm -hmm. uh, from Kaka. We had different 
different people. We had the Chicago Department of Public Health. We had Senator Lightford's office. We had uh, uh, Representative uh, uh, Ford. Mm -hmm. We had Camille Lilly involved. We uh, we had uh, uh, Alderman Teleferio. We had mm -hmm. uh, Commander Cato. We had Judge Jackson. I'm trying to think of all these folks. We had the Institute for Nonviolence, who was a real played a heavy part. Uh, we had Senator Don Harmon who donated so many turkeys that we was able to give turkeys to the families. We had uh, George Leland staff, uh, uh, Miss Jones, Miss Chester, Miss Connie, uh, Miss Will, Mr. Will, and we just had so many people out. And we want to encourage you all on mm -hmm. December twenty first, yep. where we're going to be doing our holidays special mm -hmm. in that we're going to be blessing the young folks with hats, scarves, gloves, games and activities and we're going to have resource tables and we want those young folks who are watching and those who are familiar with uh, Georgia Leland School it's going to start at one o'clock to 3 30 maybe 4 we're going to come together break bread together share resources together sing some nice songs some temptation old school mm -hmm. stuff yep. and then we're going to have some fun and we're going to let these young folks know that we love them mm -hmm. and we're going to send them off into the holiday season and we're going to tell them we want them to come back safe and sound and be a blessing. Mm. All right. Let's see if we have another caller. Yes, sir. Uh, next caller. Hello, caller. Thank you so much for calling. Your comment or question, please. Yes. Uh, uh, good evening, brothers, and thank you. Congratulations. You're doing a wonderful job. Thank you, sir. Uh, doing about this topic. Okay. I got just a small suggestion I like to share. Uh, I'm wonder why when. Uh, whether it has been done in school or other setting, to show the path of the drug within the human body. Whether you take it to your nose or to your mouth, you follow a path going to your brain and certain parts on your brain, whether hippocampus, thalamus, you know, uh, frontal cortex, that's where the damage is. And the reason why I mentioned that the suggestion, I remember years ago, Oprah did something like that with Dr. Phil. They show actual brain when you inhale. Mm -hmm. This is what happened. And the damage it caused in the yep. brain circuit. So I thought I'd share that with you. Thank you very much. And, uh, and uh, keep up the good work. Thank because you. A picture, I... a picture with a thousand words. When a youngster sees yeah. what he is doing to his brain, He's going to take twice. Well, I, I, thank you. Thank you so much for that. And I like that. Remember we mm -hmm. just got through saying, and thank you, Carla, uh, when we just got through saying educate. Mm -hmm. So, you know, he said it, a picture is worth a thousand words. Mm -hmm. So, and people have, young folks in general, people, period, they, 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 there's three learning styles. You have, of course, you have the visual, you have the audio, and you have the hands-on. Mm -hmm. So, if we can, if we can show folks, and, we can, and folks can see it, folks can believe it. Mm -hmm. So, I agree with him 100%. Yeah, uh, another question, Reverend Jones. What role do you play in the community? What role I play? Well, I'm an elder. I'm an elder now. My job is to be an elder, to be a messenger for social mm -hmm. change. My job is to be be a, 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 a instructor, a teacher, mm -hmm. uh, a provider, most importantly, a father. Mm -hmm. uh, and so my job is to make sure that I, I educate you and my children and mm -hmm. other children that's around me right. so that they can step on or stand on my shoulders and go out there and do the work that they need to do. Mm -hmm. But I want to let them know that I'm no bigger than they are. I, I'm just around. I've been around a little longer. Mm -hmm. But the work that I'm calling on them to do is the work that I've been doing and we want to keep the work going because some change don't happen overnight it takes time and so what I'm trying to create is social change through social awareness and public awareness mm -hmm. and so I think that uh, I'm a beacon of light I, I believe that I'm called to do a service I'm called to do the work that, that the Almighty has called me to do and I believe that's my calling and I believe it and I love it and I know my purpose and I know my what I've called to do and I'm doing it I'm living my dream well Reverend Jones I want to thank you once again for being a guest um, this evening. It's always a pleasure to have mm -hmm. you out because you have a big heart uh, for the young people. Yeah. And sure me, me, along yeah. with many of the other young people, thank you for all the work that you've done and all we the work that you're continuing to do. And young people, um, if you need an organization or if you're looking for something to do, we invite you out. So please come out and join the West Garfield Park Youth Council. We meet. Every Monday, 
from 4.30 to 6.30 p.m. at 4540 West Washington Boulevard. For more information on the West Garfield Park Youth Council and how you can become a member, please give us a call at 773-287-5821. Again, at 773-287-5821. Or you can visit our website at www.fathersucare.org and click on the tab, West Garfield Park Youth Council. Well, it's been fun. It's been great. Tune in next week. Same time, same place. We love you. God bless you. Good and night. happy holidays. Happy holidays. Look, love somebody, forgive somebody, and support somebody. We can do the doggone thing. Teamwork can't make, make the, the dream, dream work. work. And I love you. God bless you. And remember, young people can't be what, what they, they can't, can't see. see. Man, watch out there, fella. <laughs> See you later, alligator.